so best for last. We're here in tons about this show, dude. What, what, what got you started on the path to Riverdale? You know, I it started from uh, a lifelong love of the characters when I was a kid. The earliest stuff I remember reading were those um, double digests. I always say the double digests yeah. that you used to get at the supermarket. And and actually, my mom, I remember like vividly coming home from camp, or going to camp actually, and I was so upset because I didn't want to go to sleepaway camp. And my mom stopped at the seven. This was before comic book stores existed. Stopped at the Seven Eleven. She's like, "Well, go buy some a Slurpee and some Archie comics." And and I was like, "Okay, okay, I can face this now." So I've always loved and read the characters, and and growing up, I always and a lot of people ask me, "Why do you love Archie so much?" And for me, it was kind of a an aspirational, almost wish fulfillment. I really wanted to be friends with Archie and his friends. I wanted to go to Riverdale High. I thought, oh, that that's kind of like a, a place where where everyone's kind of nice and and everyone's having a good time, and they always go to the chocolate shop after after school, and or they go to the movie theater on the drive-in and stuff. So so, I, I think that's where it started. And, and, you know, I, had, I, I spent maybe 10 years writing um, Marvel comics, uh, but I always wanted to write an Archie comic, so I stalked the CEO and publisher at, at, at actually Comic-Con New York maybe like four or five years ago, and I said, um, I need to write an Archie comic book, or it's, I'm never going to be, it's like major bucket list thing. And then we started working from there. And, and I'd done a bunch of TV stuff. I'd worked on Glee for three years, Big Love for three years. Um, and, and, and he said, you know, would you ever be interested in doing a live action Archie? And I was like, uh, yeah, that would be like a dream come true. Uh, so we started trying to make that happen. It's been, a, it's been a long journey, you know, I think we've been working on this for three or four years. Um, so it's, it's nice to finally be at Comic-Con having people uh, see the pilot. I really want to talk about representation on the show because part of a major part of the was getting buzz is the way you guys have made a much more inclusive cast. Right. Yeah. No. You know. I think um, everyone working on the show. You know, my background is is um, my mom and dad are from Central America. They were born in Nicaragua. They live there. Um, Greg. You know, he's an Uber producer. He's got six or seven shows on the air. Um, it's uh, he. It, there was not a question with either of us or anyone really on the show, including the Archie folks. Was if we're going to do a show that is set in the real world, it has to reflect the real world, and the real world is not a hundred percent white. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And and um, uh, so that was a, a a a big a big priority. You know, we have. Um, uh, Camila, who is beautiful and fiery and Latina and amazing, and we have uh, Josie and the Pussycats, which is an all uh, African American female girl band. You know, some people say they're like Destiny's Child. I think they're like the Dream Girls. Uh, 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 you know, KJ's from New Zealand and is half um, Samoan, I believe, and it, it just. It's just how the world is, and 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 you know Kevin, for instance, is also like a big big character in the comic books, and 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 he's he was always going to be a big part of the pilot uh, uh, to do an inclusive world, exactly as you said. And so to that point, when you were doing casting, did you kind of go like, okay, I want Josie and Pussy Cats, Pussy Cats to be black girls, or was it like open casting and you figured it out? From it's there? a really good question. Um, I at, at a certain point we were open to any kind of diversity. And then kind of as we found kids, you know, then we'd be like, you know, and I will say that in the first, the, in my first meeting with Greg, when I first pitched him uh, a show uh, on Archie, I did say, and imagine Josie and the Pussycats as Destiny's Child. So, so that was an early that on, was that was early on I, uh, uh, idea. Uh, but, you know, we auditioned, I mean, that for Veronica, open diversity, anyone could audition, and, and, and everyone did, and everyone did. Uh, and Camila fought hard to win that part, and she, and she won it, and she's wonderful in it. 